morning, everybody, and welcome to Jisenji in Rwanda. Today is so cool and exciting because Martin and I are going to go on the Congo Nile Trail, which runs along the, the Lake Kibo. I had just crossed the border from Uganda to Rwanda together with Martin, and we had spent the night at the Muhabura mountain lodge in Jisenji. Chisenji lies just on the border to the Democratic Republic of Congo at the top of Lake Kivu, one of the African Great Lakes. Oh! So we apparently already got lost the first time. <laughs> the Congo Nile Trail is a 257 kilometers long trail that runs along the eastern shores of Lake Kivu, sometimes climbing up steep mountain roads through banana fields, other times following the beach through small fishing villages. The trail divides the Nile and the Congo rivers, the two longest rivers in Africa. All waters on the east side of the trail ends up in the mighty Nile River, and all waters on the west side of the trail ends up in the just as mighty Congo River. Oh, wow, this is a nice and beautiful beginning of the day. This feels like riding along the lakes in Italy. And what's really cool is that just on the other side over there, that is DRC. Uh, just one is fine. Hello, how are you? This one, here. <laughs> No, 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 no. Hello. Hello. How are you? Your dress is so beautiful. <laughs> Rwanda is the most densely populated country in Africa and you can definitely tell as soon as you stop we are surrounded by people. Okay, here we go. That was the end of the easy part. The cruising is over. Here comes all the work. We would be riding the first 79 kilometers of the trail Hello. from Dusenji south to Kibuye. This part of the trail is doable on a motorcycle, whereas the last part is only doable by foot. Okay, we have our first sharp turn. Hello. This is amazing. And I know I might be jinxing this by saying it, but so far it's just really lovely. And the cool thing is that because it rained a little bit this morning, it's also not really dusty. Oh my goodness. This is epic, guys. I know we might be struggling later, but if we're lucky, it continues this way and that would be awesome. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. How is the road? It's nice? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. I wanted to go find you. Uh. <laughs> no problem. No problem. Well, see you later. <laughs> so this young guy said the road is good. Wow, this place is just the coolest ever. I'm so happy to be here. Will you just look at it? This is real Africa, guys. Oh my goodness. What a beautiful continent it is. The first part of the trail wow. was very easy and it was clear that a lot of boaters and cars were using this road. Oh wow. 
Wow. Oh, we have our first little bridge. Okay. Am I going to be... Y you want? The first challenge came in the shape of a very narrow bridge. The rails seemed fragile and didn't appear to be able to hold the weight of a motorcycle with a rider, should I lose balance. Martin seemed confident and slid right through. Oops. Oops. My luggage is slightly wider than his. And the buckles of my giant loop bags got caught on the rails. In this situation, I really wish I had longer legs and could reach the ground on both sides. Oh, almost stuck there. Now I'm fine, I think. Just look forward, don't look down. Okay, so now I'm good. I think, Whew, this is scary. Don't look down, just look forward. Just have space to be here. My fear of heights didn't exactly make this easier and inside I was repeating to myself, I can do things scared. And I really don't <laughs> trust the strength of that rail, honestly, if I should tip the bike. Nice and easy, eh? Exactly. Am I good? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're free. It's all Ooh. about being smooth. <laughs> I didn't dare to look down. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> All good. That was a narrow trail, which uh, indicates that we're not going to be seeing any cars here. So uh, that's interesting. I wonder what that's going to do to the road. Oh, wow. <gasps> Oh my goodness, this is just beautiful. It just breaks my heart to think that this beautiful place and these extremely lovely people, that they have been the center of the most horrible genocide. Many of us know Rwanda because of the genocide that took place towards the end of the four year long civil war. During a hundred day long period, more than half a million people were brutally killed when people living next to each other in villages, just like this one, would kill their neighbors. Rating difficult. Okay, so we continue on this one, the main trail, right? Yeah. Hello, sir. How are you? Hello. The trail would split up many times where the difficult sections are for hikers and the main trail is for bicycles and motorcycles. Oh, wow. Hello, madam. Come on, Sava. Wow, Martin, this is unbelievable. This trail is just unbelievable. Hello, sir. Perfect Honda CRF 250L road. A little bit technical. And then, hello. A lot of breaks in between. Hello. And then these tiny, funny bridges that so far are not causing any trouble, but uh, <laughs> we'll see. The little wooden bridges were made of logs that were laid in the direction of travel. They didn't cause any problems at this point as it was dry. However, surely in wet weather, these logs would be very slippery. And will you just look over there? You see the mountains? That's all DRC. And I have the biggest FOMO about not going there. 
<laughs> but that I have about every single country that I don't visit. I'm like, ah, I missed Zimbabwe. I'm gonna miss South Sudan and many other countries. As I started my journey in August 2020, in the middle of the COVID pandemic, I had to change my route many times. In fact, I tried to come down both the West Coast and the East Coast of Africa. But after trying for almost one and a half year and being stuck in Morocco for six months, I finally shipped to Cape Town in South Africa. A decision that turned out to be the best decision I've ever made. And by the way, being stuck in Morocco for six months turned out to be the greatest gift. Ah, so this is where a road is missing. So I gotta go up here. Okay, I'll just go easy here. It's quite muddy. Maybe that was the bridge. Yep. There's definitely no access for cars here. <laughs> I think we have some difficult stuff coming up here. Oof, no, I'm not gonna do that. No, Martin, fuck. <coughs> no. Oof. We had heard that there was a problem with a bridge along the trail. Hold on, I'll help you. And thought this was the one. It wasn't. I can't believe you even make it that far. Uh, can you go ahead or... Okay. So if they move the, the, first, the, the second one a little bit towards me... It's just tied there, you see? Oh, it's tied. Okay. Yeah. Then I have to uh, walk it that way. So I think this way. is the best place. Yeah. Or actually even just straight ahead. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you want to walk it? Um, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I think so. And then I take the back here. Or we go... Maybe I shouldn't hold my clutch. <laughs> <sighs> Push. Okay, I push. Yep. Ooh, easy, easy, slow, slow, slow. Well done. Wow. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, you don't want to take a big truck over that one. Huh?
achieve before the young guys had a go at the Honda. You want? Okay, hold this one. This one, yes, like this. Red. Yeah. <laughs> well done. See you next time. Bye bye. Bye everyone. And yet. You know what would have helped with the bridge? If I had it in the first gear, not the second gear. Oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> The trail took us down to the water and we suddenly found ourselves in a place that felt dark. The village looked abandoned, yet inhabited. I don't know if this town is just really affected by the war or what's going on, but it's really bad. Ah, merci, madame. You okay turning around? Hola. 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 Yes, yes. Yes, I heard. We were quickly swarmed by people as we realized that the bridge over the river running through the village had been washed away. Thank you. Young men were waving and shouting, hurrying us in between bullet hole buildings taking us through a maize field to a river crossing. Oh my god. I felt stressed by the many locals who were yelling and for some reason it didn't feel friendly in the same way as the hundreds of other villages that we had passed through. Here? Oh my goodness. Really? And as always, when feeling uncomfortable, my strategy is to keep cool, smile and seem like I am completely untouched by the situation. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So it's a detour. Oh, oh. On the inside, I was thankful to not be alone. It's okay? Ah, slowly, slowly. Uh, back to the road. However, the young men were completely Thank friendly you. and had helped us, and my feeling was probably not justified. Okay. Ah. <laughs> The problem is that the young men all compete with each other to be the one to help and get a tip. But their ego creates a stressful atmosphere, leaving you with a feeling of being in a bad situation. Okay, where is the road? Yeah, that's to be this way, eh? Yeah, so we go this way. Wait a second, you're going to stand the pinpoint. It's this one. <laughs> wow. So this section is way more rocky. And I would say four wheel drive only. 
but then you sometimes get surprised to see where cars are being taken <laughs> in this part of the world. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yes. Yeah. Let's see if my friend is okay. Hello, sir. Hi, hi. Uh, sorry. <laughs> How is the road? It's nice? It's good. Just around the corner. Uh, it splits up in two, I think, and we need to take the left one. Oh, wow. That little town was a rough place, I think. It's a bit of rock climbing here, for sure. Hello! Definitely more technical now. Wow, just imagine you were born here. Hello! <laughs> I love some of the designer clothes that they are wearing. This guy, he was wearing a Dior t-shirt. <laughs> and of course, someone is cutting the trees here. Oh my goodness. How nice! <laughs> How are you? Oh wow, what a nice place. Such a difference from the other town. The other town was just like, oh. Hello! How are you? Oh, these bridges are quite scary to times. Okay, you want to show us? He's a new man. <laughs> He's a new man. <laughs> so that was uh, a little bit challenging, huh? That was interesting, huh? Exactly. Guest house. Oh, this is lovely. How are you? Yeah, why not? With a good. Oh, look at the houses on the other side over there. Oh, wow. Yeah, wow. What is the status here? I started getting cold, actually. Really? Yeah, yeah. and it's raining now. Oh. Not too exciting. Um, so we've done what? 24? Oh, more, more, 40 something kilometers. Oh, already, already. So 40 yeah. kilometers. Some of it a bit technical. There were there's one bridge that was really difficult. Then there's a lot of these like, small bridges with just um, wooden logs. Sometimes some of them are missing and you just gotta kind of hit it right and have momentum. Oh, now we have thunder. Yeah. Mm. Wow, so this wasn't supposed to happen. I think we're gonna stay here until it stops, eh? Yeah. yeah. It stopped raining a little bit, so we better push on. We were almost considering staying here together with beautiful Odette. Odette made a lovely omelette for us with potatoes and chili. Oh, no, all the kids are coming up. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's looking like it's clearing up actually. Yeah, it's really nice. I'm so happy. Hello, how are you? Is it new man? No. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Look at all the kids. <laughs> Ça va? <laughs> Be careful! Be careful! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> okay, <laughs> that was a little bit stressful. Okay, so now everything is a little bit wet. Good thing we both have really good tires on. Hello. Muddy here. Woo
Are you comfortable with the conditions? Yeah. This, guys, is exactly why I ride with the type of tires that I do. Because right now, mentally, they just give me a lot of confidence. And I think this is where we need to take a left. At this point, we were no longer sure about the trail. But hopefully, we are going to do an easier part. We wanted to stay on the part of the trail that was accessible for motorcycles. Or maybe it's exactly. And opted for going left. Not an easier part. Oh, wow. Hello? Yeah, this road is definitely one of the tougher roads that I've done. <laughs> but it's so nice at the same time. Hello, madam. Oh, shit. Whew. Ah, oh, those wooden bridges. They scare the living whatever out of me. Oh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that was scary. Saved by Dunlop. And now the rain comes again. Seriously, I'm not up for riding in the rain here. <laughs> Merci. Oh, here comes another bridge. Oof. Don't be so nervous. Just do it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh wow. That was just amazing to come up here. Look at that. Martin, he's actually going down on his knees for me. Isn't that just romantic? Here we are on this top of this hill. I knew you were going to wait for the most beautiful place to do it. <laughs> Will you watch my <laughs> Oh, it's actually filming us. <laughs> Hold on. We have another one of those. Honestly, I don't dare to. I'm going to walk. There we go. <laughs> I always helps to be in first gear. I'm really scared of them. So I'm gonna be just cautious and walk. Don't have to be a hero today. Oh, we have another one. Jesus. I that's too scary, honestly. Thanks for being patient. Ay, 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 ay. What the F? Oh. <laughs> Look at him. The thing is that he just went so close to the edge and I'm like, what if, what if I drop the bike right there? You see? So now my left foot that's nothing. Okay. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, shit, that's so scary. Thank you. <laughs> Woohoo! But there's so many of them. You go. I'm scared. Scary shit. Well, check it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Martin, who's playing in the puddles. Okay, so here comes a little town. Oh, there's asphalt. Are you kidding? Oh, my 
goodness, we're gonna come down there. And so suddenly the gnarly dirt road was replaced by smooth curvy asphalt to green hilly landscapes that Rwanda is so famous for. So we have arrived in a town, I think it's Rutsiro, and our camp is not far from here now. And of course we ended the day the same way we started it, by taking a wrong turn. But all worth it as great company and cold beer was awaiting. Ah, hi! <laughs> Hello, Inge! <laughs> so, Inge and Carola. This is unbelievable. We just came from down there. <laughs> wow. This is too cool. Oh my goodness, it's such a beautiful sticker. Look at that. Oh wow. Oh wow. Where did, where did this come from? <laughs> For the love of coriander. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little memory of the worst few days of my trip. <laughs> oh, wow. the hero of the day. I need to see this Rwandan beer. Okay. Wow, score.